हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग मैं सिर्फ डॉक्टर एम है चन्नैया इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू ड्रा द प्रोजेक्शन ऑफ ए स्ट्राइट लाइन हुज एंड व्यूज हुज पोजिशन ऑफ द एंड ए एंड बी आर गिवन एंड फ्रेंड्स लेट एस सी वॉट इज द क्वेश्चन वी हैव फॉर टूडेज वीडियो द क्वेश्चन रीड्स लाइक दिस The end A of a line is on HP and 25 millimeter in front of VP. The end B is on VP and 50 mm above HP. We have been asked to draw the projections of the line and determine parameters like true length of the line, its inclination with HP and VP, etc. First of all, friends, in any problems on this projection of lines, you will be given with the position of one of the end point either a or b here if you read the problem you see that the end a is on hp so in the projection of points we have studied that whenever a point is on hp its front view is seen on xy the line of intersection of vp and hp so i am going to mark here on xy a point a dash which represents the front view of the end a and it is at a distance of 25 mm in front of vp so anything in front of vp this board is seen in the top view so i am going to write a line here and mark this distance as 25 mm and this is the point where the top view of the end a lies a dash a so the line a dash a represents one of the end projectors of the straight line ab next friends the dep is given to us what is dep dep stands for distance between end projectors that is distance between a dash a and b dash b measured parallel to xy so friends i am going to write a line here at a distance of 40 mm from a dash a so i will say dp is equal to 40 and friends this is the distance between a dash a and b dash b and other data is the end b is, is on vp so whenever a point is on vp its front view is seen above the xy line and here the end b is at a distance of 50 mm above hp so i am going to write a line here and mark this as 50 mm and this line parallel to xy represent the locus of end b locus of b or the end b this is the locus of a and friends what else is given when the point is on vp remember whenever a point is on vp its shadow falls on xy so whenever a point is on vp the front view is seen above the xy line and the top view is seen on the same line and this point is going to be point b and this point is b dash so we got both the end projectors a dash a and b dash b now let us see what happens if you join a dash and b dash friends you get a dash b dash the print view of the line so this will give you the print view of the line if you want you can even measure what is the length of that friends if you join a and b you will obtain the top view of the line so this is top view of the line and this is the print view friends once you have the print view on top view and by knowing the loci of those end points you can easily obtain the true length of the line etc now what we can do friends we have this a dash b dash inclined to hp ab top view inclined to vp now taking center as a dash and radius equal to this length a dash b dash i draw an arc i will repeat taking center a dash and radius equal to a dash b dash i draw an arc to cut the locus of the end a at this point so this point is b1 because have, we have seen in lot of problems before the end b and b1 
lay on the same line. Likewise, B dash and B1 dash also lay on the same horizontal line parallel to x y. Friends, if you join these two, that is A and B1, A B1 will represent what is called the true length of the line. So this true length can be found out. This is what the first part of the question. And you know, friends, the true length always remains the same both in the print and top view, or both above and below the xy line. Now, friends, once we have this true length AB1, taking this true length as the radius with center A dash, you strike an arc. And this point is going to be point B1 dash. Because B dash and B1 dash should lie on the locus of the end B. So, friends, we will join this B1 dash to A dash and this length will give you true length. Friends, remember this TL, that is to say, AB1 is equal to A dash B1 dash, that is equal to true length. So, we have got the true length value. And the next part is, what is the angle made by the line with HP and VP? When we say the angle made by the line, it is always with respect to the true length. Friends, in the print view, you have got a dash B1 dash at the true length and it is making an angle theta with xy. So this theta can be measured. Similarly, the angle made by the line AB1 with the VP can also be measured. So this could be either this angle or this angle. So this angle will give you phi the angle made by the line with the VP. And hence, friends, we have completed the projections of the straight line AB and we have got the true length of the line and also the inclination made by the line with VP and HP. Friends, after going through this problem, if you like this problem, do share this video with all your friends without fail. And at the end of this video, you have got a playlist which contains not less than 25 nice problems on this chapter of various types. So please click on the link given there and go through all these problems. So by studying all these problems, I am assuring you that you can master in this particular chapter projections of lines. Thank you friends for watching my YouTube video. Have a nice day.